The lake full phase of the Lois project is ongoing, and the star of the project has arrived on the lake, the pipe itself. The Lois system is comprised of roughly 330 sections of 50-foot long high-density polyethylene, or HDPE, pipe. HDPE was chosen for Lois because of its 50-year track record in severe marine environments. For this project, 2 million pounds of HDPE pipe must be fused together in lengths ranging from 200 to 1300 feet to form the Lois pipeline. The trestle dock at the McVeigh staging site was constructed in part to accommodate the pipe fusing operation. In recent weeks, trucks began delivering pipe sections to the trestle at McVeigh Avenue where the fusing operation is now in full swing. In theory, the welding process called butt fusion is simple using heat and force to join segments of HDPE pipe. But when you're dealing with a 1,200 foot length of pipe extending into a lake, the process involves more effort and attention to detail. The previously fused length of pipe must be moved out toward the lake to make room for the next section of pipe in the butt fusion machine. Crews use a combination of crane, winch, and manpower to slide the pipe down the splice table, also called a pipe bunk. After the west end of the pipe is set and locked down, the crew inserts the next length of pipe into the fusion machine and makes the necessary precise adjustments to ensure the pipe is positioned correctly. Bill Breckenridge, manager of training and development for Ferguson Industrial Plastics, says before butt fusion begins, the pipe ends must be faced. The facing process involves rotating facer blades that are shaving the end of the pipe to make them square and true so that when they are joined together, there are no gaps or voids between those two pipe ends. With smooth, clean, parallel surfaces, the HDPE pipes are ready for the heating element. After the facing process is complete, the pipe ends are heated to a predetermined temperature and then joined under pressure to bond at the molecular level. The heat melts the pipe ends and creates a rollback bead on each pipe. Once the pipe ends are simultaneously heated to approximately 450 degrees, the operator raises the heating element and uses the machine to push the pipe ends together and hold them in position with 1,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. The pipe weld cools under pressure and the result is a weld that is as strong or stronger than the pipe itself. The butt fusion process continues until the desired length of pipeline is completed. This section of the pipeline will eventually be installed at the west end of the lake. Keep monitoring LoisNews.com and the Lois fan page on Facebook for frequent updates.